Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. Okay, so we have this uh, Hyundai. I'm going to check the work order. 2007 Hyundai Elantra Limited. Belt noise or pulley noise when it started cold. Jiffy Lube has replaced the belt three times. So, the belts look to be in decent shape. AC back there, a little tougher to get to. Here's the uh, alternator belt. And to me, that's a too much free play. So I'm gonna lift up the vehicle and uh, check the AC belt. And we'll take a look at it, but I think that, uh, I don't know if they're replacing them for a good reason. Three times just for loose belts, it seems ridiculous. These seem to have a tendency to uh, loosen up. You put them on, you tighten them, and they seem to be good and tight, and then they come back in a couple months and they're loose. So it's kind of been my experience. So we'll lift it up and check the AC. And if it's good, we'll leave it. If not, we'll give it a tighten. So, so you've got a 12 millimeter bolt on the back side here. And you can probably get a pry bar right in here. Oh, it's got the 12 mil, that's right. It's got the bolt there for tightening. So we'll just turn the uh, adjuster bolt. 12 millimeter as well. We'll turn those two items and uh, tighten up the belt probably, but let's check the AC belt. All right, so we got a shield here. Just make it a little easier to uh, get to the belt. We'll check for the tension. I kind of checked up top already and it seems decent, but we'll probably still give it a turn or two. We got two 10 millimeter bolts holding the shield on just for checking purposes. You don't need to do this really to tighten the belt. It might help to put it on though. Swivel. Alright, two bolts out. I think there's one more, maybe. Oh, there it is. See if I can get my finger up there at all. You can't really see, but you see my finger moving. So I'm gonna say the belts are in good shape, and uh, oh, they even want to put a tensioner on there too. That tensioner looks kind of clean. So I'm gonna tighten the belts. So that's a 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter nut. We'll turn that one or two turns counterclockwise to loosen it, and then we'll turn that bolt to get that pulley to go in and tighten the belt maybe three or four turns and then we'll uh, adjust the alternator belt water pump belt as well up there once we get it back on the ground not very tight to begin with Pretty good shot here. Snugged them back up. You know, these cars seem to more often have a uh, yeah, tighten them. Uh, Retighten them issue.
All right, so we're gonna check the tension in that and uh, snug it up a little bit and go to the alternator belt. So we don't know who was in there exactly. It took the tensioner apart. I'm not sure these washers belong on here, but also if you can see the curvature. Of the bolt. Messed up. So we're going to replace this AC tensioner and tighten the alternator belt and probably do some good things for this customer. Because when I was tightening this bolt, it was just wobbling back and forth. Something wasn't right. And this, uh, this spacer, when I looked up, it was like cockeyed. It wasn't, just wasn't right. So I took it out and found that obvious issue. So someone's been here messing with things. We're going to make it right.